so this is a problem on diesel cycle so 1 kilogram of air at temperature of 15 degrees celsius and uh, pressure of 100 kilopascal is taken through a diesel cycle the compression ratio is uh, 15 and the heat added is 1850 kilojoule calculate the ideal cycle efficiency so let us uh, start with the sketch of our diesel cycle so we are drawing the pv diagram so this is our diesel cycle we have a, a process uh, 1 to 2 that is uh, reversible adiabatic compression process from 2 to 3 it is a constant pressure heat addition process 3 to 4 is again reversible adiabatic expansion process 4 to 1 is a constant volume heat rejection process so uh, we know that uh, the efficiency of a diesel cycle is uh, you can uh, we know we, if you recall the expression for the efficiency efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by r raised to gamma minus 1 into 1 by gamma rho raised to gamma minus 1 divided by rho minus 1 so this is actually the expression for the ideal diesel cycle efficiency so here uh, we, we have already provided the compression ratio that is we know the compression ratio r and the gamma for air we will take it as gamma equal to 1.4 so that is also known and uh, only thing unknown here is uh, the rho so rho is the uh, cutoff ratio so so rho is defined as uh, v3 divided by v2 the cutoff ratio so our first our aim will be to calculate uh, v2 and v3 then we can find out the cutoff ratio rho so once we get row we can easily calculate the efficiency so let us start uh, now let's move on so we'll we'll not all the values we have already given that is uh, mass of the gas is m is equal to 1 kg then uh, temperature temperature of the uh, temperature of, uh, is at 15 degrees Celsius and the pressure of 100 kilo basket is taken to a decent cycle so at process uh, state 1 we have temperature T1 equal to 15 degrees Celsius so that is uh, you know that it is 288 Kelvin then uh, pressure at point P1 that is pressure P1 pressure at point 1 state 1 will be equal to uh, 100 kilopascal then uh, one more quantity we have uh, we have provided is uh, heat added that is uh, heat added during the process uh, so heat addition is happening at constant volume or sorry constant pressure process so this is uh, heat added let it be Q in so you know the Q in is actually that is equal to 1850 kilo joule so this is the uh, given data now uh, let us calculate uh, so first our aim will be to calculate uh, the volume at uh, point 2 so for that I think we can assume uh, we can or we can you can consider the fact that the, the process 1 to 2 is actually a reversible adiabatic compression process so process 1 to 2 we can write uh, 
टी वन वी वन रेस्ट टू गामा माइनस वन इक्वल टू टी टू वी टू रेस्ट टू गामा माइनस वन सो टी टू कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एस टी टू इक्वल टू टी वन इन टू वी टू वी वन बाय वी टू रेस्ट टू गामा माइनस वन सो टी वन एस टू एटी एट केल्विन इन टू V1 by V2 is actually the so we will write that that uh, our compression ratio that R is equal to V1 divided by V2 that is equal to 15. Okay, that is also given. Okay, so V1 by V2 is uh, 15 raised to gamma minus one, so 1.4 minus one that is 288. To eighty-eight into fifteen raised to zero point four. That is, if you calculate that, we get to eight fifty point eight zero Kelvin. So that's a that is a temperature at the point two. Now we have to calculate the volume at point two. So we have to get V two. So V two. Can be obtained as so. If before that, we'll consider can calculate the volume at point one, that is V one. So V one uh, is equal to we have the expression that P V equal to M R T M R bar T. So V one is equal to M into R bar T. One divided by P one. That is uh, mass of the gas is again one kilogram. So one into R bar is the characteristic gas constant. So R bar is equal to two eighty seven joule per kilogram Kelvin. So we we'll substitute that. So two eighty seven times uh, T one is. Uh, Two eighty-eight Kelvin. Two eighty-eight divided by uh, P one. P one is the pressure. That is hundred kilo Pascal. That is hundred into ten raised to three Pascal. Sorry. That is three Pascal, uh, and uh, that amounts to that is, that is equal to. Uh, so if we calculate that, we get zero point eight two three meter cube. So that is V one. Now uh, let us calculate V two. So we know that uh, V one divided by V two is compression ratio R. That is L. Compression ratio R that is equal to fifteen. So V one we got as point eight two three meter cube, zero point eight two three meter cube. So V two is equal to V one divided by R that is. 0.83 divided by 15. That is equal to 0.055 meter cube. So we got uh, V2. Now, in order to calculate the Cut-off ratio, that is uh, rho. So our aim is to calculate the cut-off ratio rho, that is equal to V3 divided by V2. Uh, V2 we already got, and uh, we have to find out V3. So at two point, at state three, uh, we don't know any other property. So we have to calculate the temperature at state three in order to get uh, V3. So for that. We have we are provided with the data that uh, Q 
Hugh in his uh, 1850 kJ. So heat addition process uh, in pro, pro, in two to three is an actually a constant pressure process. So for the constant pressure heat addition, we know that uh, heat added Q in will be equal to m c p into t three minus t two. So this is the heat added during the constant pressure process. Uh, that uh, the gas heats up from state two to state three. So during this process, uh, the we we are given that thousand eight hundred fifty kilojoule heat is transferred. So we know that this is equal to thousand eight hundred fifty kilojoule. So we have mass m one kilogram. So we we calculate this. Uh, So one into CP is one point zero zero five kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. So we have one kilogram multiplied by one point zero zero five times T three minus T two. T three we have to find out, and T two is uh, temperature. That is eight fifty point eight zero Kelvin. That is eight fifty point eight zero. That is equal to thousand eight hundred and fifty kilo joule. So if we calculate that, uh, we get T three equal to eight fifty point eight zero plus. Thousand eight fifty divided by one point zero zero five. That will be two thousand six hundred and ninety one point six Kelvin. So this is our temperature at point. At state three, at this point, and uh, we know that now we have to calculate the volume at state three because uh, our aim is to obtain cutoff ratio V three by V two. So we have to get the V three. So in order to get V three, uh, we know that the process two three is a constant pressure process. So for constant pressure process, we have if we have We are the PVT relationship for for the ideal gas P1 V1 by T1 equal to P2 V2 by T2. You have learned it in your know, plus two classes, and also uh, this is directly evident from the uh, ideal gas equation. So, if P1 is equal to P2, this P1 and P2 are same, then we can cancel it out. So. We have the expression V1 by T1 equal to V2 by T2. I think it was Charles Law of gases. So according to this law, we can write V. So there is a process between one state one and state two. For our case, the process is between state two and three. So we can write V2 by T2 equal to V3 divided by T3. So here, so we got T3 and uh, T2 as well as V2. So we can find out uh, V3. So V3 is equal to uh, T3 V2 by T2. So T3 is uh, 2691.6 Kelvin. Then V2 is uh, Point zero point zero double five meter cube divided by T two is got T two here. Uh, this is eight fifty point eight zero Kelvin. Eight fifty point eight zero Kelvin. That makes uh, V three. V three equal to if we calculate this, we get zero point 
1.174 meter cube so that is v3 next now we can calculate the cutoff ratio rho equal to v3 divided by v2 v3 is 0.174 meter cube and uh, v2 is uh, 0 0.055 meter cube again 0 0.055 that makes uh, cutoff ratio rho is equal to 3.16. Okay, that is the cutoff ratio. Now we can calculate thermal efficiency. So eta. So now you can calculate the thermal efficiency. Eta equal to one minus one divided by r raised to gamma minus 1 then uh, rho raised to gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into rho minus 1 so this is our expression for efficiency of a diesel cycle so we write 1 minus r is here 15 1 by 15 gamma is equal to 1.4 so we get uh, 1 by 15 raised to 0 0.4 rho raised to 1.4 sorry so rho is here uh, Cutoff ratio that is 3.616, 3.16 raised to 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4 into uh, 3.16 again, 6 minus 1. If you calculate this, you will get the efficiency of the diesel cycle so that will be obtained as around the 55 percentage so that completes our problem thank you